Hi peeps, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I have another smoothie recipe for you. And this is probably going to be the last one that I filmed for today. I think I've done a matter of, I think I've done six of them today, enough to hold me over for a couple weeks. And I think that's how I'm going to do them from now on because uh, it's very, um, it's a lot of work because I don't have a professional crew hanging out behind me. <laughs> okay, so today I have named this smoothie Strawberries Gone Coconut. If you don't like coconut, uh, you're not going to like this smoothie. However, uh, to watch it would not be a bad idea because there are a lot of things that you might, you might get an idea of something or how you could tweak it to your liking, okay? So, uh, the first thing you need is some unsweetened Blue Diamond Almond Milk Coconut Blend Milk. So this is a blend of almond and coconut milk. So we're, and this is the unsweetened version and it's 45 calories. It's very important that you get the unsweetened ver uh, version. Now, if you want to use soy milk, I don't know if soy has an almond coconut flavor, but, but if you don't mind, uh, with, you know, lacking a little bit of that flavor, you can go ahead and uh, use your soy vanilla flavor you should probably go with. But anyway, so we're going to use this, and I put a cup into my blender. The next thing I'm going to add in is one cup of frozen strawberries. And uh, strawberries sometimes when you buy them frozen, they really lack flavor, so you do have to add a pinch of sweetener into this smoothie because the strawberries aren't always as sweet as they should be. The next thing I'm going to do is, now this bag here I have is actual coconut meat. And what I do, now this is, these are not always available for me in my area. I don't have a lot of Asian markets. My grocery store every now and then gets in a box of them. Usually I buy them. This time I was only able to snag two of them. But inside of here is wonderful coconut water that is so nutritional. It's so much better than Gatorade for us. It acts as an electrolyte. Uh, it's got so many great things for you. A lot of people are afraid of coconut because it does have a saturated fat to it. However, it's a medium chain fatty acid. Look it up. It does affect the body differently. Unless you have some serious health issues and your doctor has told you to stay away from this, research it and ask your doctor, is it okay for you to incorporate this? Because I have no cholesterol problems I don't have that I know of. I don't have any problems. I take no medications other than my asthma and I have been incorporating this into our smoothies for a couple of years now when it's available to us. But when it is and I can buy the whole case, I will cut this open and I will pour the water into ice cubes trays and freeze the water so that I have it if I'm not going to be able to use them up within the time that they start to go bad and get moldy. So anyway, that's what I did and that's why I have this bag of coconut milk. So I'm going to add about a half cup of um, fresh, I mean a frozen fresh coconut milk and I'm just going to break it up a little bit because sometimes the blender doesn't get that. So I'm just going to add about a half a cup. It really adds a beautiful flavor to this smoothie. So there's a half a, half a cup of fresh frozen coconut milk. And I think now Whole Foods is actually, if you go to the freezer section, I think they're actually selling frozen coconut meat, which is really gay, great, but I don't have a, um, I don't have a Whole Foods around me either. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a vanilla bean, and I'm going to add a half cup of coconut water. Now, I don't want to waste this, uh, because I'm not drinking these smoothies, I'm just making Some of them. them. I put in the refrigerator until tomorrow, but I don't like to put the fresh coconut because it loses something as it sits in the fridge. So this smoothie will sit in the fridge till later and I'll have it as a snack or a meal. So I'm going to use the uh, organic coconut water. Yes, you do lose some nutritional benefits to this, but not, you know, it's, it still adds something. It's still a good electrolyte for you. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to add about a half cup of this to my smoothie. Okay, so a half cup of coconut water. Now, of course, if you've bought your, your coconut for this smoothie um, purposely, then yes, use the fresh water. Okay, so I'm going to then, uh, for sweetness, I'm just going to add a teeny weeny bit of coconut nectar. This is low glycemic just a little smidgen. I don't even like a lot of this, but you have to add a little sweetness in because of the strawberries. They, they pick them too early. 
but I guess they have to because, well, I don't know why, but they do. Okay, so I'm adding my nectar. This can be purchased in all of your, like, nature's markets in your grocery stores, okay? And you need such a small amount. Okay, then I am going to add a tablespoon of chia seeds. I'm not putting hemp in this. I don't like hemp in this one. Uh, and then two tablespoons of raw cacao, okay? Beautiful, pure chocolate in its natural form. These are the nibs. And they have nothing to them but the way cocoa should be. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle most of this into the smoothie. Leave a couple. And I'm just going to blend her up. It may take two spins around to get that coconut, but we're going to give her a go. Ready? Here we go. I must get it. Oh, it's done. Okay. Now this one is a little thick, so I usually test it to see. Okay, it needs a little. I don't like my smoothies real thick. So I'm going to add just a little bit more of the coconut water. Or you can add more of the coconut milk. Whatever you want. So I'm just going to add about a quarter of a cup more because really I can't stomach them. I don't know why it makes me want to gag when they're too thick. Okay, so we're going to spin that around, get it out. Okay, that looks just about right the way I like it. You'll see when I pour it. I like it so it's creamy thick. I don't like it where it clumps into the, the, jar, the glass. Okay, this is probably one of my most favorite smoothies. And um, I just love the coconut, strawberry, cacao uh, together. It's really wonderful. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some cacao, cacao on the top for a little extra crunch. And that is a beautiful, beautiful breakfast smoothie. Again, if you would like to add some protein powder to this, be it raw, Protein powder in a vanilla flavor would probably be best because the chocolates usually overpower everything else. And since you have raw cacao in here, you don't want it to become just a chocolate smoothie. Uh, you want to be able to taste all the flavors. And you can also add, when it's blending, just a pinch of salt because salt really will bring out the flavors of things. So here's to your health. Let's give it a try. Oh, this is definitely my most favorite smoothie of all. Love, love, love. Mm. This one here, when I was doing most of my diet as raw, um, this was a smoothie that I had, oh, probably every morning. <laughs> Never get tired of it. I absolutely adore it. I do. And I hope you will give it a try. Again, if you don't like coconut, I'm so sorry, but this is fabulous. So here's to your health. Have a happy, happy day. Don't forget to subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Please leave your comments below. You know I love hearing from you. Uh, the recipes will all be underneath. Thanks for stopping by. Be well, be well. I love you guys. Bisous.